So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to 16th tutorial I guess but we are on 15th file so let's just go ahead and create a new file here on code tab tutorial 16.c and I'm just gonna paste this code right off the bat right and let's just give this a little bit of room all right so okay I think we have some problem here when I paste the code for some goddamn reason the autocomplete kind of doesn't like that so let's just try to include the header again because why the hell not all right come on work 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 all right i'm just gonna go ahead and write it again anyway so what we want to do in this video is we want to take a look at how if else work in c so i'm gonna go ahead and get a digit from the user real quick like their age for example just like uh, the previous example now depending on if they are greater than 18 or less than 18 we're gonna display some info so how does if else work in c is that it allows you it helps you to take certain decisions based on a certain value so once we have the age from the user i can check it i can say if age is greater than 18 and it's very very intuitive that's how you're gonna think about this in english that's how you're gonna think about it mentally so you're gonna have an if statement opening bracket then the expression and this is a greater than symbol if age is greater than 18 that means that age is over 18 i want to do certain actions which are enclosed in these two curly braces just like we have the case with functions so i'm going to say printf you are above 18 right else that means that if this condition fails that is if it is not above 18 then i want to printf no you are not above 18 right something like that so once you have that in place what you want to do is just go ahead and compile this tutorial 16.c and hit enter and a dot out so now if you write 5 and hit enter you're gonna see you get no you're not above 18 but if you write 100 you're gonna get you're above 18. so this is how a simple if else syntax would work in us in a language like c so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.